Fidey Johnny here for another gear demo. This week I've got the Carpe Diem by Fire Custom Shop. Probably one of the most sought after pedals in Melbourne at the moment. Uh, you have to import them directly. Uh, it'll cost you about maybe 500 bucks plus um, to land one here in Melbourne brand new. Uh, this one is second hand but it still works perfectly. Now, uh, it's quite different to every other Plexi in a box that we've seen. But it is a Plexi in a box. Let me, let me show you how it works. So we've got a master volume here, uh, that is the overall master volume for both sides. You then have a treble gain. Right, now this is set up like the um, gain on the uh, treble channel or the high channel on a um, uh, on a plexi, like a JTM45 or JMP or um, uh, something like that. And then you have the bass gain, um, and that's set up like the normal channel or the super bass channel. Uh, and they're both gains, so they just say treble and bass, but they're actually gains, and you know they cascade into each other, and uh, they work together too. Um, you've got a switch in the middle, which is um, classic or hot rod. Classic is like your JTM45 or JMP, and um, hot rod is like your super high gain JTM800, JTM900 even. Um, and then we've got a presence control over here, which uh, which is a master presence control as well. Uh, it's not um, it's not an inverted phase presence control, so um, it doesn't make any noise when you turn the pot, uh, which is how some people do it. Um, but yeah, that's an overall presence control as well. Uh, and then we've got true bypass on and off, and then a lead. The lead is just about, it's a boost, obviously. A little bit of a volume jump, only a little bit, um, and there is a preset amount of gain um, that um, comes on when you kick it on as well. But that preset amount of gain actually deter is, is determined by where you've got the, the uh, two gains set. Right, so they all kind of work together. Um, now, if you have the pedal off, but the lead on, you'll see the light come on, but nothing happens. Right, uh, you can't activate the boost without the pedal actually on. Um, and that's fine. That's cool. I thought plenty of, plenty of pedals do that, and plenty of pedals you know, have them working independently. Um, but I found it interesting that the light actually comes on, even if it's not actually on, the pedal's not actually on. So, um, so that's interesting. Uh, that's one thing to be wary of. Now it is uh, nine volt up to 18 volt DC as well. So uh, I haven't tried it in 18 volts yet, but um, I will. So anyway, um, we're gonna get straight into it. First clip is gonna be uh, everything at 12 o'clock and in the classic mode. No, it's not, change my mind. <laughs> Everything's going to be 12 o'clock and in the hot rod mode, and it's just going to rock straight up. I'm playing my telly into the Ulrich Club 20 with... I've changed the speaker as opposed to what the um, intro says. I've changed the speaker. It's now a, a Creamback 65. Um, so yeah, enjoy the first clip. <laughs> probably tell it's a very powerful pedal uh, it adds a lot of bass I will say that it is very very bass heavy as opposed to say the um, Pebble Plexi um, by Love Pedal which I love too coincidentally I use that actually as a solo boost at the moment after this uh, what I am finding is that it is extremely touch sensitive this pedal very very touch sensitive in the next clip you're going to hear um, First a clean tone, then in the classic mode, everything at 12 o'clock uh, with some fingers, 
uh, and then um, uh, you'll hear it break up even more when I pick the pick my pick up again, um, and then you'll hear it uh, kind of completely go clean almost when I play with my fingers again um, on the neck pickup, and that's what I love about this pedal. It can really, really just let your guitar talk. Um, and so yeah, this clip will be everything at 12 o'clock in the classic mode. Um, no boost, just uh, just a pedal. As you can tell, hopefully the um, the pedal is very dynamic. Um, but what I've found is that it, you really need to match it to your amp. You know, these gain controls are really, really sensitive. Um, not in just in gain, but in how they flavour the sound, right? But, but the pedal's got its sound, right? Um, same with the presence. You know, you just got to match it to your amp. You know, I like bright guitars and I like bright amps. Um, but I've, you know, so I find, you know, I don't really boost presence much. Um, that being said, I still believe in this one at 12 o'clock. Um, so it's about matching it to your amp, right? Uh, so once again, I'm going to leave this in classic mode, um, and I'm going to leave everything at 12 o'clock, uh, and I'm going to play a little bit, a uh, little bit of a blues riff, and then um, kick the solo boost on, so you can hear that. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious to say that the boost is extremely musical. Uh, it's just maybe a maybe a six dB gain in uh, boost in gain, uh, and maybe a three dB boost in um, volume. I don't. That's just my best guess. Uh, it's a very musical boost, um, and uh, the pedal actually really reacts well to how you pick. Like I was saying a couple of clips ago, um, from fingers to picks back to fingers different chords, you know, whether you're playing, you know, all four finger chords or just power chords, you know, it really does react well. Um, and it kind of pushes me to play a bit differently. Um, you know, whenever I do a demo, I don't normally have any prerequisite of what I'm actually going to play. I just kind of um, do it and see what comes. If I make a mistake, well, I make a mistake, that's fine. Um, so in saying that, I'm going to play a lot of blues, but yeah, you know, the pedal kind of pushes me to maybe try a lick a bit differently or something like that. Um, which I'll be honest, the good plexi pedals will do that to you. Um, they do that to me. The Carl Martin Low Gain Plexi Tone definitely made me do that, and the Love Pedal Purple Plexi makes me do that as well. Um, so this is another one that does that. Uh, so in this last clip, I'm just going to have a bit of a jam. Um, and uh, there'll be two tracks. There'll be a clean, which is just the amp, uh, and then there'll be a lead track over that, which will be uh, hot rod mode, uh, everything at 12 o'clock. <laughs>
here. So there you can see the uh, immense sustain that this pedal puts on the uh, puts on the Telecaster. Um, I've got Broadcaster pickups uh, by Kinman in that Telecaster. Um, so the Broadcaster pickups are kind of like you're still meant to hear the clean signal a lot, even if you gain it up. Um, but that sustain that goes goes with this pedal um, is just awesome. Um, yeah, so this is actually this has become a mainstay on my pedal board, and um, I think I'll keep it there for a very long time. So thanks for watching my demo on the Carpe Diem by Fire Custom Shop in Brazil. Make sure you check them out. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe for more demos. I'll see you next time.